Hey, what's going on, guys? Liam Like Potatoes here. Ju just eating some spaghetti. Oh, wait, never mind. We can't. It's frozen to the table. But we're continuing to play Undertale. Warning dog marriage. <gasps> There's a camera hidden inside the tree. Okay. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Clicking noise. Jerry will return. No. Maybe. We don't know. Who who is Jerry? What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm, here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Dog, doggy, dog eye, assault you! Uh, that one. Roll around. You roll around in the dirt and smell. You smell like a weird puppy. Number two, nuzzle, oh. The dogs may want to re-smell you. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What? Smells like a... Are you actually a little puppy? Yes. I am a puppy. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. You pet a dog. Wow, pet by another dog! Oh, gee! Oh, come. I don't know how to how to avoid such a craziness. Uh, I'm gonna I pet the doggo. What's with the other dog? What's its purpose? Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. No, they just have hoods. Turn every X into a no, then press the switch. Alright. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Uh, I'll tell... I ate it. Really? Wowie. No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human. I'm Master Chef Papyrus. We'll make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. Wow. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. <laughs> Human. Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a while to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle. By arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. All right. Dang it. Ah! I don't even... Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? And nobody answers. And he is alone forever. Wow! You solved it! And you did it all without my help! Incredible! I'm impressed! 
You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stop with the <laughs> Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alpheus! You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color! Each color has a different function! Red tiles are impassable! You cannot walk on them! Yellow tiles are electric! They will electrocute you! Green tiles are alarm tiles! If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster! Orange tiles are orange scented! They will make you smell delicious! Blue tiles are water tiles, swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You'll slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles, they don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Yeah, I don't. Great, then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random! When I pull this switch, it'll make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Yeah, Heh heh. Get ready. Really? Oh, really? The machine isn't working. Oh, and um, I could just walk through it. Oh, and now I can't. Odd. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. What the heck? Seems like the base of a snow dog. It's the broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow dog. It's the broken head of a snow dog. But... On the floor inside is a box of palmer raisins. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. Knowing that the dog will ne- Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until... It was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, <laughs> again. It's a lump of snow with the word SANS written on it in red marker. It's a snow papyrus. Done. I finished it. Puzzle's over. Was that a snow hat? It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Woof. What a tiny doghouse. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh? There's 30 gold inside. What is this? Wait, inside... Inside this, what is this? It's a snow puff. Oh my gosh, the snow puff has a tail! And a head! And a... And a, and a, and a, and a where's its body? Aww. Oh, that's cute. Oh! Oh, that's less... That's, uh... Oh, okay. It's the greater dog! Look! It's and 
Uh. A beckon. You call the greater dog. It bounds toward you, flecking slobber into your face. That's something I wanted to know in extreme detail. Greater dog curls up in your in your lap as it's pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now, dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Oh, jeez. It's attacking me with barking. Greater dog wants some TLC. I don't know what that means. I still haven't pet enough. What does that mean? Maybe you need to pet that dog. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. This is song. It's terrible. Greater dog is contented. Aww. I earned 40, go 40 gold. Aww. It's, so it's so tiny. It's adorable. Oh, that, I don't think that... That that's not how um okay, never mind. What Yep. Oh yeah. It's Happy Wrist Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror! Oh no! That is not good! When I Stop. It's the donkey! When I say the word it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm uh, about to activate it now. That doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to, to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My pulses are very fair and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah! Huh? Huh? Okay. I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Okay. Welcome to Snowden Town! Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. That's a bit much. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Yep. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! Huh. Red junk mail. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. How would anyone get in, though? I, I don't... <laughs> and now there's a snowstorm. Woohoo! 
human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you're cool. These feelings. They must be what you're feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer! I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong! I can't be your friend! You are a human! I must capture you! Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream! Powerful, popular, prestigious! That's Papyrus! The newest member of the Royal Guard! Papyrus blocks the way! I have 30 HP instead of 20, which I suppose is because of that, um, in I went into. So you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Yeah, I think I can handle it. Something tells me I can handle it. What the heck? Okay. You're blue now. That's my attack! Yeah! I am blue now. Behold! So I just have to jump? Papyrus is rattling his bones. How high can I jump? Uh, pretty high, I think. Yep, pretty high. I can jump pretty high. Smells like bones. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Nah. I can almost taste my future popularity! Oh jeez! Papyrus whispers, yeah! Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard! Papyrus is considering his options. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti tour! Because that's a word! Oh jeez, how am I supposed to dodge that? Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Undyne will be really proud of me. Oh jeez. Papyrus whispers, Nihaha. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Oh really? Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. My brother will, uh, well, he won't change very much. Papyrus is rattling his bones again. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Oh, come on! Smells like bones. How will I know people sincerely like me? Oh, come on, really? Huh. Papyrus is cackling. Someone like you is really rare. Especially in the underground, where there aren't a lot of humans. Or potatoes. I don't think they'll let you go. No. Leave me alone! Papyrus prepares a non-bone attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. After you're captured and sent away. Ah, really? Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Uh, who cares? Give up! No. Really? Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Give up or face my special attack! Oh, what? The 
first whispers me hehe. <laughs> yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack! Not too wa long and I'll use that special attack! Oh, come on, really? Ah! You eat the monster candy, recover- This is your last chance before my special attack! Alright. He's rattling his bones again. Behold my special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Uh, here's an absolutely normal attack. Okay, so far not too bad. Really? That's a dog! And that's a cool dude skateboarding bone somehow. What the heck? Uh Alright then okay. Get out of here. That must his special attack must be really crazy. Well, it's clear! You can't defeat me! Yeah, I can see you shaking your boots! Therefore I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity! I will spare you, human! Now's your chance to accept my mercy! Ugh, I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the royal guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What a little... Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, I have friends! And who knew that all I needed to make them was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then his monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is a... Um, well... He's a big fuzzy pushover! Everyone loves that guy! I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself! Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and hang out! Yeah! And then he just walks it, uh, over water. He is Jesus. <laughs> hey, Papyrus. So you came back to see me. You must really be serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Wow. That was something. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. Here! Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! 
You touch the couch. It makes a jingling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. Just steal it. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Ooh, it's my favorite game show! It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this! It's just a bad episode! Don't judge me! This, that's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time! My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a, key, a quiche, but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd! There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please pursue my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers, all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Sans! Stop playing my life with incidental music! A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door's locked. And on fire. It does look like it's on fire. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we can go in and hang out like a pair of very cool friends. Sure, let's go inside. <laughs> hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. You don't even have skin. Or hair. Yet. Yeah. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Isn't that flag Nito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Or they are skeletons. Skin. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Um. Dude. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? Begin the hangouts? Yes. Okay, let's hang in the tent, then. Hang out! Start! Here we are, hanging out! I've actually never done this before. But don't worry! You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name! I snagged an official hangout guidebook from the library! We're ready to have a great time! Let's see. Step one, press your controller's put up button for pressure HUD. Oh, it is Friday! Chloe, I feel so informed! Crime population egg? Dog? A dog sensor and a fishing thing? I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them to hang out. Ahem, human, I, the great papyrus, will hang out with you. Really? Wowie, yowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to hang out with me from the very beginning? No, 
You planned it all! You're way better at hanging out than I am! No! Your friendship power! That's a lot of power. Nyeh! Nyeh! Don't think you bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at hanging out, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I, too, can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Just in case someone wants to hang out! Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it! No! A genuine compliment! I, I, I like it. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This hangout won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the soles of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist! Uh, is it that? Is it this? There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I'm... Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> yeah! Well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you! Do you know what this is? Of course. It's spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Yes. Right! But oh so wrong! This ain't any old plain, plain old spaghetti! This is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti, finely aged with an oaken cast! Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human, it's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further! You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable! What a passionate expression! He must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Ah! No! Human, it's clear now. You're completely obsessed with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. Huh. Well, I'm flattered you care so much. But maybe cool it a little bit? You are a very nice person. I'm glad we're friends. But I think you can reach your max potential if you live more for your own sake rather than just for mine. Hmm. Hey, I know the solution! You should hang out with my boss, Undyne! I think if you spread your friend energy out more, you'll have a more healthy lifestyle. Yeah, let's be friends with Undyne! Yeah, <laughs> Oh, and uh, if you ever need me to, to, if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go! Yeah! This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. <laughs> what? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to grill these. Wanna come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Are you taking me- Oh, over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops! Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seat. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Hey, grill beef, we'll have a double order of burg. <laughs> burg. Burg. So, what do you think? Oh, my brother. 
cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You'll, you'd only take that off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Sure. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cat falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours out into your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Just scratch. Just continue to scratch. But anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, um, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Um... Yes, I have! So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Um. Yeah, totally an echo flower. Totally. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you put the bill? It's just... How much? 10,000? Oh, just kidding. Girl, me put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Okay. Yes. We need to stop that flower. Oh. That's nice. Interesting. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. They're all over the place. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. A typical w treasure behind the waterfall r thing, really? Typical. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Of course I will take it. I got the old tutu. Armor Defense 10! Finally a protective piece of armor. Yeah, that is very protective! Much more than the stupid faded ribbon, only a defense of three. Useless. Uh, uh, hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Uh, yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? D did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard on dying, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But on dying, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay. Aaron flexes it! I shall flex. Flexing contest? Okay, I will flex more. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex harder. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases. Nice. I won't. I won't lose though. Oh, why is there? Why is there water? Or tear drop? Rain? I flex. And Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations! You failed the puzzle! I knew I could do it! Success is mine! Nice. Oh, cool. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Sure, I'll take it. I wasn't ready for the response. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Okay. Abandoned quiche heals 34 HP. A psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. What? 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 Confusion? Confused, confusing, confusion. Ray, hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Yeah. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Yes. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wait, wait. Have a nice day. Okay. Oh. Look through the telescope. Check wall. Oh. I don't know. Uh, ancient writing covers the wall. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? It's 
Indeed, it seemed they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of the soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If monster defeats us the human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a, hor a horrible piece beast with unfathomable power. Is it an illustri it's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Okay. I don't know. Oh! Oh! Hello! Hello, Undyne! Because, yes, I... You, you're Undyne, right? You are Undyne. That is you. Oh, crap! Jeez! She spears, no spear. Jeez! I know! Run! Run more! Faster! Faster! Running! Okay, never mind. Okay. Oh no. We're dead. What? We're not dead! Ah! She killed him! Maybe? Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Time for some gameplay. Squeak. No. Hello. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50000 to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free, how's about it? How'd this happen? Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Dude! The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans fear. What is that? What, what is that? <gasps> oh my gosh. Hey there. Notice you are here. I'm. Onion Sun! Onion Sun, you hear? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? huh. Yeah, me too! It's my big favorite! Huh. Huh. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... <laughs> hey, that's okay! It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium! Like all my friends did! And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to go... I... That's okay, Avery. Here. That's okay, though. Every... Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Um, yeah, yeah. Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time in the waterfall. Chiron hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Uh, hum. You hum a sad song. Chiron follows your melody. Chiron seems much more comfortable. 
You hum some more. Monsters are drawn to the music. Suddenly, it's a concert! Okay. Sans is selling tickets made of toilet paper! You hum some more! The seats are sold out! You feel like a rock star! The crowd tosses clothing! It's a storm of socks! You hum some more, but the constant attention! The tours! The groupies! It's all aggressive tooting! There's so much aggressive tooting! Shiren thinks about our future! You and Shiren have come so far! But it's time! You both have your own journey to embark upon! You hum a farewell song! Final toot! Jeez! Cra careful! You won! You earned zero XP and 30 gold! That was beautiful! The northern room hides a great treasure. A haunting song echoes through the corridor. Why don't you play along? Or the first eight are fine. What? This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a, a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power will be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Please take one. Take an umbrella? Sure. Put the umbrella in the statue. You place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. What the? It would appear to be a something. A uh, circle up right, circle down down right. Circle. Circle up, down, right. Circle up, down, down, right. What? Um, it's circle down, right. No, circle. Oh, yeah. Circle. Okay, I'll remember the first, I'll do the first ones, you do the, you do the last ones. Okay. I remember. Nice, nice, nice. What's this? It's a legendary artifact! Will you take it? You're carrying too many dogs. What? And where did we get that? Where did we get an annoying dog? Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. It's adorable. You deployed the dog! It's adorable! Hello! Look at that thing! 
The dog absorbed the artifact! No, I want to hear more. Seriously? Okay, Avery. Did that seriously just happen? No legendary artifact for me, I guess. Shame. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Yep, this is fun. Look at this. True beauty. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. No, she was gonna beat me up. Haha. <laughs> That's not good. That's not calming. Oh, Avery. What? So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers! Yeah. Uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teacher. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Um. Yeah, totally. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll, I'll always find a way to get through. And, and then he trips. Why don't you just carry him up? I don't know. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Well, yeah, I'm done. So, <laughs> that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye! <laughs>